So 30 years of telling people there are no winners and losers, and you don't have to debate anything that makes you feel bad. All of a sudden, they lost an election, and and the debate is reborn. They can't handle either of those two things, so they they lash out as a untutored child would, smashing smashing things because they know nothing else. Well, you have to understand too, and this is actually the silver lining in all this. They don't also they don't want to debate because they have nothing to say. This is fashion, and the analogy I keep using is the mods and the rockers fighting on Brighton Beach. They didn't want to get into a debate about whether Elvis was better than Northern Soul. This is just subculture to them, and that's why it's so easy to extinguish them. We're getting violent now. We're fighting back, literally fighting back, and the communists are scared again because they don't have the courage of their convictions. They don't have convictions. This is just fashion week for them, and they're all one punch in the face away from cowering away in fear. We just read today 92% of them live with their parents. The big picture here is I think that this is a death knell. I mean, it makes for good clicks to, to say that this is going to get worse and worse and worse, but I really think this is someone freaking out that they lost and having to face reality. And there'll be some more of these. There'll be more pepper spray. But ultimately, in about a year, these guys are not going to be fighting anymore because they don't have the truth on their side. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.